In this lesson, let's look how we might modify a pre-existing Adobe Photoshop brush. Now I have a exercise file open if you want to open it. It's called artpalette.psd and you will find it in your exercise files. If I come over here with my brush selected and right click my mouse, choose the upper left hand corner brush at the very top of your brush's presets. Now that's a, just a small soft round brush. Change the size to about 50. That's not really all that important, but I'm going to make it 50. We have a 50 pixel wide soft brush. And we made some modification to it, I guess. We changed its size. Do this. Go up to the word window on the pull down menu and go down to brush, the brush panel. Now you may already have it over here. I did. And there it is. There's a lot of stuff going on here. First off, we do have access to our brushes right here. Let's stick to the one that we have. Let's look at this stuff down here in this last number one size. We know what that does. We have an angle and a roundness. Now this brush is perfectly round, but we can change that. We can either change it here or we can click right here and drag in. So we're at like 32% round now. We come over here, as you can see, it's a completely different brush. It's more like um, well, calligraphy. Let's change the angle. Now we can do that here, like 45 degrees. Or we can grab that arrow and bend it ourselves. And now we have a completely different brush. And again, it's very much like calligraphy. We have hardness. We know what that does. It creates a softer edge or a harder edge. And we have spacing. Now with spacing, spacing is important because we're not working with canvases and oils. We're working on a computer. When I take an oil brush, put some oil on it, and run it across my canvas, the coefficient of friction between the canvas and the oil, I guess, use the word smear. It smears it, spreads it, whatever you want to call it. This is a computer. There isn't any smearing or spreading going on here. What happens is, is the computer replaces stamps it every 25%. So if we come over here, this is just stamping. But if I drag, it's actually repeating the shape every 25%. Now we can change that. If we change that, say, to 100, let me just do it this way, it'd be easier. 100%, and I come over here again and drag, you can see what's beginning to happen. Let's do this. Let's use my right bracket key, make that even bigger. Every 100%, it gives me another one. So if we're running at 25%, it gives the appearance of being a solid line. Let's do this. Go back up here and click the original. That sets the defaults all back to normal. If we change the spacing, say to 200, let's go ahead and do that. Come over here again. You can hold the shift key if you want a straight line. And you have a, well, you have a dotted line. That's a very easy way to make a dotted line in Adobe Photoshop modifying an original brush. Now let's say we like that enough that we want to keep it. Well, we can click this button right down here. And I'll call that Andy's dotted line at 200%. And I click OK. And there you go. It's right there. We've just modified an existing brush that comes with Adobe Photoshop, but there are times when existing brushes are fine. They just need a little bit of a tweak in the right direction, if you will. In the next lesson, what we'll do is we'll talk about creating our very own brush and then using some of these tip shape options over here. On to the next.